I like really much to look the the posters in a U-Bahn which are talking about uh, constructivismus. I found it totally uh, inspirative uh, in my way of work because I like uh, raw moments of uh, choosing a construction. For me, it's sometimes construction part of the work. I choose a Weber Wiese as a spot which connects uh, a biggest street in in uh, east and west uh, Berlin. It's called Kamaxele, this part of it, and it's done in the uh, 50s, red done, after the Berlin was uh, broken. A woman collected the, the rest of the buildings and the first building built in a Weberwiese was on a Weberwiese Platz and there were two towers. Uh, it's built in 1951 uh, from Hanselmann, one architect, and they were used the uh, rest of the buildings uh, for the bricks. The bricks were uh, finished in one manufacturer um, uh, fabric of porcelain and I found it totally nice that such a big, huge totalitarian architecture is done with uh, hands. I mean, of course, this was uh, the first building. It was built um, in a neoclassicism style, which means it connected many things from antique, from the real classicism era in 18th century, but it took of parts of antique, like uh, Greece temples, and we see the how huge are the entries in the building. I found also inspirative in the Kamaxele there are a few galleries which are showing uh, temporal architecture. This is also important for me because I grew up in a big uh, Wohnbau machine, which is a kind of Le Corbusier uh, way of building. This is also could be seen in Kamaxele, although this is a very uh, sophisticated buildings. They were built for the people who work in the fabrics in 50s and 60s, but it's a really uh, <laughs> It's really done with a uh, much style. After it, in the DDR, there was not money enough, so only this part of the Kamaxele was built in such a style. After it, we, we came to my studio in Petersburger Platz. It's a totally another surrounding uh, to work in one church, which is also a monument itself. It's not just a sacral monument, it's also a place where student movements were in Berlin in the 70s. Uh, because this part were, was East Berlin. And for me, every day coming here puts a lot of uh, memories in my childhood and the city where I were. Uh, the, the churches were bombed in a war and uh, this kind of uh, uh, way or place to work for me, it's an uh, input. Uh, now I'm working on a paintings which uh, thematicate uh, uh, architecture in East Berlin. They found a mo book, a big mosaics uh, on a facades place. And in the 19th, when the, when the Berlin became one, East and West, they put out of all these mosaics. I mean, all these paintings are gone. So uh, I use them as an archive. So I, I painted the... Uh, paintings from the paintings which doesn't disappear any, uh, which doesn't exist anymore. And uh, I wanted to put it obvious that I used an archive, that's why I left the uh, legenda of the letters and the paintings. And it's also done in a big uh, um, f um, texture. I mean, you can really feel the dry dimensionality of a mosaic. So I, uh, I used to use an archive in my work. Sometimes I, I use with the portraits of uh, heroes which were forgotten in my country. But I always choose tools of an architecture. I mean, it's always present in my work.